Welcome to Nafi Paints, and in this video, I'll be painting a Stormcast Eternal Prosecutor. Let's crack in. Before painting the model, I've given it a spray of Vallejo's Hobby Paint White. The first part of the model I've painted was the wings. I've used an airbrush to do this, but you can get away with the paintbrush, as I do use one later just to fix up any mistakes I make, as I'm not so proficient with the airbrush. I've used three colours to do the wings. The first one was Cantor Blue from Citadel. The second was Griffin Blue from the Ami Painter. And the third was Vallejo's Model Air White. This first coat here is Cantor Blue from Citadel, mixed with a couple of drops of Vallejo's Flow Improver. I've set the compressor to 35 psi, just to help the Cantor Blue push through the airbrush. I've sprayed a few coats of this colour. After each coat, I'll let the paint dry thoroughly before applying the next. The second colour here is a 70-30 mix of the Cantor Blue and Griffin Blue, and again with a little bit of Flow Improver to help it get through the airbrush. With this paint, I've tried to spray from the bottom of the Cantor Blue to about the three quarter mark on the wings. And again, I've sprayed on a few thin coats of this color, letting the paint dry in between each coat. This third color here is a 4060 mix of Cantor Blue and Griffin Blue again. And I started spraying this from about the halfway mark down to almost the tips of each wing. This next step here is straight Griffin Blue from the Ami Painter, and again spraying a little bit less of the wing each time while working my way down to the ends. The next highlight here is a 50-50 mix of the Griffin Blue from the Ami Painter and the Model Air White from Vallejo, and with these two colors, I've sprayed the tips of each wing. I've turned the PSI down to 20 with these two paints in the airbrush, as these fly through quite nicely. The final highlight for the wings is straight Model Air White from Vallejo, and with this colour I've just tried to hit the very tip of each wing. While airbrushing on the white, I've gone a bit heavy, so I've gone back to the blue tones and fixed that up now. The wings aren't perfect, but I've got my base down anyways. If you're really good with an airbrush, they should be fine, but like me, you might have to come in with your brush later to fix it up. Anyways, onto the armor. I've given these two thin coats of Retribute armor from Citadel. This paint was applied to the suit of his armor, shoulders, helmet, the trim of his wings, and those comet designs also on the wings. While applying this or any other color, just try to avoid the wings at all costs, as it'll make your life more difficult in the future. A few times while painting this miniature, I did get some paint onto the wings. It wasn't the end of the world, and I was able to fix this up, but it did waste a lot of my time doing this. This next colour here is a Baton Black from Citadel, and this is applied with two thin coats and a little water added to the paint. This is applied to his face mask, the leather straps at the front, and his shoulder pads. I'm not too worried about getting some of these colours onto the gold at the moment, as it'll be an easy fix with a touch-up pass of Retributor Armour. Painting the eyes was really easy, I just went with Tesseract Glow from Citadel and I painted this directly into the eye socket, not worrying if I got onto the black 
because it's really easy to fix up. This next colour here is Corn Red from Citadel. I've applied this to the strapping around the handles and the weapons and the scabbard on his belt. This is applied with two thin coats with a little water mixed into the paint. For the material in between his armour joints, I've gone with Mummy Robes from Anami Painter and this is applied straight from the pot with two thin coats. For the parchment around the model, I've gone with Talan Sand from Citadel. This is applied with two thin coats with a little water mixed into the paint. For the heads of the hammers, the bottoms of the hammers and the trimming around the swords, I've gone with Lead Belcher from Citadel. This is straight out of the pot and this is applied with two coats. I wasn't happy with the final effects I got with the airbrush. So during the process of painting this model, I'll continually work on his headdress and the wings. This is done with the exact same paints as I used to spray the wings. It's just applied with a brush this time. I've given the entire model, except the blue areas and the eyes, a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade from Citadel. This is straight from the pot. In the dark areas like the shadows, I've waited for the paint to dry and applied a second coat. In the areas which receive a lot of light, I've just given them the one coat. I've tried to avoid pooling as much as possible, trying to force the wash into the recesses, and only stain the model with this colour. I don't want big pools of this appearing everywhere. While waiting for the wash to dry, I've gone back to the wings in his headdress and I've continued to blend the same colours I used earlier, trying to give these wings in this headdress a better look. To blend in the wings and the headdress a little bit better, I've gone to Blue Tone from Nami Painter. This is about a 2080 mix of blue tone to water, and I've given the wings and the headdress a coat of this colour, let it dry, and then applied a second coat. I went really light with the blue tone in this situation, as it's better to go light and just add more, then it goes too dark, and then you've ruined it. For the blends and the highlights on the armour, this won't be the most accurate portrayal of light, I'm not the best at judging where light's coming from, I just followed my desk lamp using it as a template. The first highlight here is Retributed Gold from Citadel. This is straight out of the pot. I've painted all the gold with this colour, leaving a little bit of the shadows from the previous steps underneath.
For each feather step on the armor, I copied the same pattern as I just laid down. The only difference was the color, and each time I was painting a little bit less of the area. This next highlight here is a 70-30 mix of the Retributor armor and Lead Belcher, both from Citadel. Still following the same pattern but painting a bit less, this is a 50-50 mix of the Retributor Armour and Lead Belger. This next mix is a 2080 mix of the Retributor and Lead Belcher again, edge highlighting the armor as I go along and just putting little touches here and there of this color a little bit deeper than the edge. Also on the flat areas of the model, I am placing this on the center like I did before. For the final stage of the armor, I've used Shining Silver from the Ambi Painter. This is straight from the pot. I've applied this paint exactly the same way as I did the previous step, but for each edge highlight I painted a little bit less of this colour and also on the flat panels a really minute amount of this colour was applied. For the first highlight of the parchment I've gone back to Tullahan Sand from Citadel, this is mixed with a little bit of water. With this paint I've tried to avoid all the deep recesses where the lettering is on the parchment. If I did get a little bit in there, it wasn't a big deal, I just went back and added a little bit more wash. This next highlight is a 70-30 mix of Talan Sand from Citadel and Mummy Robes from the Ami Painter. And like all the other highlights, I've just painted a little bit less of this colour on the model. The final highlight here is a 50-50 mix of the Talan Sand and Mummy Robes and again just leaving a little bit of the previous step visible. For all the red areas I've gone with the first coat of Mephiston Red from Citadel. This is applied straight from the pot, and like the previous steps, I've highlighted it in the exact same way. To line up the red a little bit, I've added a little bit of Mummy Robes from the Ami Painter to it. For these mixes here, you're going to have to judge for yourself what colour you like. The more Mummy Robes you add, the pinker the paint will get. So with that, I've hired all the red areas with this colour. The same as the previous step, I've added a little bit more Mummy Robes to the paint to lighten it up a little bit more and kept hiding the model in the same way. For this highlight here, yet again I've added some more mummy robes to the paint, and you can see on my thumb here, 
the paint is getting quite pink now. With this bright highlight, I've been very sparing where I've placed it. For the cloth in between his armour joints, I've gone with a simple highlight of Mummy Robes from Nami Painter. For all the silver areas of the model, I've gone with an edge highlight of Lead Belcher from Citadel. Once that was done, I went with a second edge highlight of Shining Silver from the Ami Painter. And with the second highlight, I just painted a little bit less of each edge. The final stage of the model is to paint all the black areas. I've done this with Abaddon Black from Citadel and Castle Grey from the Ami Painter. Unlike the previous steps, I've simply mixed in a little bit more Castle Grey each time and slowly built up the highlights. This first highlight is a 90 to 10 mix of the two colours. And again with each highlight, just applying a little bit less paint. This second highlight is a 70-30 mix of the Abaddon Black and Castle Grey. This next highlight is a 60-40 mix of the two colours. This next highlight is a 50-50 mix of the Abaddon Black and Castle Grey. The next highlight applied was a 40-60 mix of the Abaddon Black and Castle Grey. This next highlight is a 60-40 mix of the two colours. And a final highlight of straight Castle Grey was applied to the edges and a little dot on the flat areas. The blending on the black areas was a bit too striking and it wasn't so great, so to hide a little bit of it, I've gone to Null Oil and mix it with a little bit of water and given all the black areas a wash with this colour. I still wasn't happy with the wings, so the last thing I did to the model was give it another wash of the watered down blue tone. I waited for the first one to dry again before applying the second. Once that was dry, I mounted him to a base and he was ready for the tabletop. And here he is, ready to crush the enemies of Sigma. Thanks for watching Nafi Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like. If there's anything you want to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!